I'm gonna just start crafting on my base, I guess. Let's see here. Bulk, so I want loathing essences. Uh, it's 56 for how many? Uh, 39. 9, 18, 27, 36. Okay. So realistically, I would want to get 30% body armor craft before I do this, but I'm pretty lazy, and I just want to set up and see what happens. So here we go. I am looking for some fat armor prefixes. That's the primary. Or some really unethical armor rules. Oh, shit, there's TT. Oh, yo, okay. That's not bad. So, let me... What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna craft a... Um, this, like, armor hybrid. This one. And I'm gonna exalt slam, and it's gonna hit, I like... do this yet. It's gonna hit T2% armor. You guys ready? T2% armor. Ah... Uh, so troll dude I can't settle for that that's only 2.3 ah. man okay let's keep rerolling the 11 okay tier 2 god it's bare minimum that's toxic okay I'm gonna exalt slam and we're gonna hit uh sucks it's got attribute requirements and it's ah, but do I really want to six link that it's easier to color with reduced attribute requirement that's true. I should, you know what? I should just, uh, I should just do that right now. 3,000 jewelers later. No, it's going to be instant. You ready? It's going to be instant. Boy, I'm definitely recrafting this piece of because, uh, please bench it. You want me to bench it? I'll bench it for you. I cannot do this yet. Okay. See? So now I'm under the look look at that done. See? Okay. So you want to know what we're gonna do now? Okay. Okay, maybe we'll ask Chris just for a little bit. Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. I heard this kind of talk yesterday at the helmet craft. Well you see the thing the difference between the helmet and the body armor is that the body armor is already linked. Uh I'm actually gonna do one blue socket and um the goal is blue, 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 green. There's no way in hell this is going to happen. I'm just going to get it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just mess around with it a little bit. I mean, what's the harm, right? What am I losing? Chromes? Pff, I don't care, dude. I'm not scared of you, Chris. Chris, you better color this right now. Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. You better make it color right now, Chris. Thanks. Appreciate it, Chris. All right, very nice. So all we got to do now is 30% quality, and uh, and then we just craft it. Not a problem, dude. Perfect fossil. Oh, yo, that's not I a bad idea. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, Chad, who's got perfect fossils? Okay. Perfect. Literally. Yeah, just in the name. I don't know how many I'm buying, but I believe this guy because he's a, he's a crucible enjoyer. All right, perfect. Okay, now we need to get 30% quality. That's the goal here. So here we go. 28, I won't settle for anything less. 16, all right, we're not making progress. 30, well, okay. Okay, so now what we gotta go ahead and do is we need to go buy some more essences. Okay, now now we get a giga chest. By the way, it's not even item level 86, but we're getting a giga chest, so here we go. Right, so now what I need is, um... Let's go, okay. So all I really care about are the pre- Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, that's it. Okay, so now now we hit it with the gravitious mod there's no base available that's 86 with the physical My fracture gone. okay so now we unveil physical as cool wins. yeah dude okay dude okay Keep so now eyes. we craft the gravitious mod until we hit six and six Oh, 
The problem is, is if I slam it and it gets like a 2% life regen roll or like a, then I have to remove the life modifier and it's, I can't, do I can't. Okay, let's work on the next part. If I want two max res, do I use the baby one and then try to use the elevate things to get two? I don't just buy the expensive one right away, right? Okay, so I use the lesser Eldritch to get one max res, and then I use like a grand Eldritch to so it can like eat it. Uh, max lightning, recoup, lightning, uh, fire, chaos, flask effect, frenzy, recoup, crit mult. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so now two, four, six, eight, nine. Thank you. We are going to we're going to use the grand Eldritch here, right? And by doing this. Okay, we can now use the Orb of Conflict, unpredictably raise the strength of, of one Searing Exarch or Eater of Worlds, and lower the other. The lesser, lesser modifier have their strength lowered will be removed. Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. This part sucks, dude. Recoup, Global Fizz, Endurance, Light. Hey, okay, okay. Hey, Chris, I'm not asking for your blessing. Let's go. One max all res. Hey, I got it back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm just gonna use my Grand Ickers and just get the term effect. Oh, okay. Good enough. Good enough. All right. So we're gonna leave it alone for now. And that's still a really good chess piece. All right. So now we just check the armor value. So Unbreakable is uh, currently um, question mark. But I still think I'm going up like 7,000 armor. Okay, 5,000. But I have the double conversion now, which is sick, to be honest.